What's good, family? This is your boy, Rich Long, and I'm just here to keep it real. Okay, today, I want to talk to you guys about some uh, an issue that's been presenting itself a lot lately. As a lot of people are raising up their awareness and their consciousness, their vibration, they're trying to figure out which way to go, what's what, you know what I'm saying? What, what is going to fill the void of the church? Maybe they've been out of the church. And been having a voice so long that they conned into falling for niggas like Nature Boy and and, and falling for for these uh, Queen of Fools people who, uh, uh, allegedly you know what I'm saying <laughs> people who they don't mean you no good because the key was that you were the master teacher all along you were your own master teacher all along you know Bobby Hemmett he speaks of something called the drunken master. And when, when he spoke on that, it resonated with me because my grandmother was the epitome of the drunken master. You know, sometimes you'll run into the master as you're running this race. And, and you might pass somebody, you might pass a homeless man and say, hey, have you seen the master? Do you know which way the master is? The homeless man might point you in a direction. You know what I'm saying? But all the while you do a 360 and a revolution and you realize it was him. He, he was the one who would teach you your biggest lessons. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he taught you the most game. But because he didn't come in the shape, in the package that you might have wanted him to come in, because he doesn't satisfy the ego, because he's not going to tell you all good things that you want to hear, it's hard for you to take it in. This is the Christ consciousness. This is the weight of the cross that we all must bear. Those of us who have a light to shine, and people will come and try to dim that light, or take bits and pieces of that light so that they could carry it forth to light their torch. They might never give you credit for it. They might damn near put out your flame. Because they're so obsessed with the outside. They're so obsessed with, well, the other people say this about you. The other people say this about you. Even though they know you might be the only one who's any damn good. You know what I'm saying? It's like that sometimes. This is the weight of the world. We must deny the world. We, we, have to, we have to do away with all these old paradigms. Because me, I'm going to pick up my cross and bear it. I'm going to take what I got to take to get where I'm going. Because I know I'm almost there. I'm at my breakthrough right now as I speak. I'm, I'm reaching a point in my life where I'm right at the doorway of my success. I'm right at the brink and the edge of everything that I've worked for. I planted seeds from years ago. I'm seeing, I'm seeing them before my eyes. Come to fruition. And grow. I'm seeing, I'm seeing all the dreams that I dreamt. Be, be manifested in real time. Because I had faith. It might have been the faith of a mustard seed. It might have been the faith of a mustard seed. But yet it's still. I stood strong to my conviction. I'm not perfect. I'm here to tell you that right now. I'm just a living witness. I've witnessed a lot of people go through a lot of things. Perfect imperfection. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people who they might have deserved more in life. A lot of people I love. I've witnessed people. Carry the weight of the world and you can see it on their face. You can see it in their whole being in their aura as soon as you meet them. But yet and still, they kept going. I remember my grandma. She used to walk all over the small town we're from called Grandview, Texas. And she'll have a paper sack in her hand coming from coming and going from work. Then she'll come and walk me and my sister and cousins from school. And she didn't have to do that. She could have just worried about herself and just took up her cross and bore it. But she bore the weight of us all. And there will be one or two of us among us that are that way. And we're never realizing they're the pillar and the foundation that's holding us up. We might take it for granted until it's taken from up under our feet. So you have to remember, it's not just you going through something all alone in this world. We're all living this life simultaneously. 
We are all made to be crucified in our own way. Through for different minute reasons for bullshit, whatever. Maybe you just attract haters. Maybe, maybe you are existing in a state where everything you're putting back is coming back to you. And the shit you getting ain't shit. <laughs> Catch that. Maybe you just... Maybe you just don't see yourself just yet. Maybe you're just now stepping outside of yourself and trying to accept the fact that you have work to do. But I'm 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 telling you, we're all right at the doorway of a new beginning. It's a new paradigm coming December 21st, 2020. There's a major shift occurring all over the world. There will be ley lines that are activated. There will be more people that are activated. There will be more star seeds coming into the earth. Coming into alignment with their true, with their true power. And, and, and they'll, they'll be put on assignment. Their, their assignment might be only then realized. Maybe they'll see that well, everything I've went through was a culmination of this. Whatever, whatever occurs, just know it's all for the greater good. You know, if you go back into the parables of Jesus, you know, Jesus was persecuted from the very beginning. Pilate sent forth for three wise men to go and get intel on Jesus. Like, like a lot of niggas will do nowadays to you. They might send a bitch on you. They might come in the form of, of, of your own... You know what I'm saying? A, a homeboy, a homegirl, whatever. But but we we must be wise like those wise men. And we must not fall victim to these perpetrators who will put us in these type of positions. Don't be used by the enemy. Don't let the enemy use you against your brother. You know? It's a lot of hatred on this world. In fact, it's promoted and propagated because it's money in our murder. It's money and our degradation. It's money to be made off of a nigga doing bad. Just, just, just put it to you like that. It's money to be made off of, of, of our, our struggle. So, you know, nobody's trying to change it truly. Even the ones who it look like they is. Nobody's truly trying to change this. But you know one thing? The only thing you got to do is change yourself. It's that easy. You don't have to change the world. Many men have come to this earth to change the world. And they could only do that once they realized that all they had to do was change themselves. This is your boy Rich Long. And I'm just here to keep it real.